Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shado back again with another YouTube video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Today, what we're going to be doing is going to be laminating. No, what we're going to be doing is um sublimating on canvas using the laminating sheets. I got these from Walmart. I couldn't find the ones at the Dollar Tree, but um apparently you can buy them at Dollar Tree too. But I guess so I got these junks. All right, so what we're going to be doing uh straight from Photoshop. Uh, we're just going to set up our templates. So we know that the paper we're going to be working with is 11 by 17. So we're going to go to new. Since we're working in inches, we're going to do what? 11. Or we can do 13 by 19. Bruh. Whatever you want. Whatever your paper size. Mine's 13 Bruh. by 19, actually. So 13 by 19. Okay. All right. So what? just work whatever your paper size is. And this is my artwork. So the canvas is going to be uh, eight by ten. So I need to size my artwork at least eight by ten. So we, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do nine point one. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do like that nine point one by ten and a half or something. Ten, yeah, yeah, ten and a half. That way I have a little, you know, a little work space. Then we're gonna save it as. We're gonna put sublimate. Snoop. And then we're going to save it as a JPEG image. All right, sublimate Snoop. Okie dokie. Back again. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open up my print manager. It's, you, as you see, the artwork is already in there. My sawgrass has been working wonderfully uh, with these settings, polyester fabric, text print R, high quality. We're just going to send it to the printer. And it still takes a little while for us to so we're going to go here and let's see right now it's on energy saver so i'm going to wake this thing up we're going to wake it up and it shouldn't take too long from here y'all shouldn't take too long from here all right, back again, y'all. So now it's printing. Of course, that took like a good minute and a half. It's still printing out a little slow Bruh. because I'm not printing directly from Photoshop, but a minute and a half, it's all good because the quality, it comes out great. Now that I figured out how to work this machine, um, join the Facebook group if you want to learn how to work this machine or, you know, ask me any questions you have about the, your sawgrass machine. I can definitely help you out now that I know. All right, so we got our laminating sheet open. I got this open. I got this open, so I'm ready to, um, you know, cut this in half, send it to the heat press, okay? We're back again. So basically what I have is my butcher paper here, and I have my artwork here, and I also have my laminating sheet here. So what we're gonna do is basically place our canvas on top. We're gonna place the laminating sheet with the glossy side facing you, the rough side onto the, onto the, what you call it, onto the, um, to the jump, to the um, canvas or whatnot. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna place the uh, butcher paper or the sublimation sheet right over top of it. And we're just gonna do a little pre-press, okay? Nice little pre-press. I'm gonna just put my little dang on, put my little sheet over top of that so that nothing, you know, messes up. All right, cool. So then I'm just gonna press it down for like, maybe like, 20 seconds all right so basically this is what it left me with it left me with a little transparency sheet as you see this is stuck to the sublimation paper as well but don't worry about this we're going to cut it out right now what's next to do is place our sublimation image face down um and we, of course we're going to do that for the remainder of the 60 seconds all right, and we're back again, and this is gonna be my final product here. The only thing I have to do next is just trim around the edges, and there goes my final piece of art. It looks pretty good. All right, and this is gonna be my final product, y'all. Um, basically, I wanna show you a little trick, because you see, like when I cut it out, um, there's these little sharp edges, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my lighter, and you can just kind of, you know, light it around the edges and it'll kind of, you know, um, basically wrap around the corners and stuff like that. So just pretty much light the edges, you know, light the edges up so that it looks clean and nice and flush. 
You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And now, it looks nice and clean. Everything is nice and neat. This thing is on there and it's looking fantastic. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos. This is awesome. I can hang this on my wall right now. This is so freaking beautiful. For real, for real. All right. Uh, once again, it's your boy Shadow. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I'm going to try to draw videos every week instead of once a month or twice a month. Peace out. Oh, and also follow me on my social channels. Instagram, I join my Facebook group, as well as um, the Facebook channels and all that other stuff. All right, y'all, peace.